Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. My name is Dylan. My name is Dylan. I live five blocks from here. I live five blocks from here. I think you people are crazy. I think you people are crazy. I love the way you communicate. I love the way you communicate. The world has <laughs> noticed your voice. The world has noticed your voice. You have been here for three weeks. You have been here for three weeks. And you should be very proud of what you have accomplished. And you should be very proud of what you have accomplished. For 15 years, I worked as a financial services professional. For 15 years, I worked as a financial services professional. Have you guys said that yet? Um, I, I, can't, I, I can't believe I'm here talking to you. I'm here because I agree with you. I'm here because I agree with you. I made the decision three years ago. To leave the financial services industry. To leave the financial services industry. I did that because it was clear. I did that because it was clear that the financial services industry. That the financial services industry was purchasing both political parties. Was purchasing both political parties. <laughs> I believe, I believe that the fundamental problem that the fundamental problem with our collective desire with our collective desire to demand the debate America deserves to demand the debate America deserves is that both of our political parties are funded by a narrow group of well-heeled individuals. Because they are bought. It's because they are bought. What do we do? Thank you. <laughs> so I have been asking myself. So I have been asking myself. What the hell I'm gonna do about this? What the hell I'm gonna do about this? I have decided. I have decided that I am going to devote all of my resources. Those resources may be whatever those resources may be with the knowledge, with the knowledge that the decision to devote resources that the decision to devote resources is much more important than what your resources are. It's much more important than what your resources are. I believe that you Every other group of people, and every other group of people who know for a fact, who know for a fact that their government is bought, that their government is bought, and are making the decision, are making the decision to make 2012, to make 2012 the year, the year our voice will be heard. Our voice will be heard. I ask myself what I will what do I do with my voice? What do I do with my voice? I look at myself I look at myself like an angry villager. Like an angry villager. I am irate. I am irate. I know I know that if I cannot harness that if I cannot harness my personal rage my personal rage for positive change, for positive change, I will harm myself. I will harm myself and not help anybody else. And not help anybody else. My question to myself has been. My question to myself has been. How do I harness fire? How do I harness fire in myself? In myself. Um, you can either. You can either. 
burn yourself in the town square. Burn yourself in the town square. Or you can deliver deliver a single message to your government. Or you can deliver a single message to your government. My message is that the government is bought. My message is that the government is bought. Two more, I'm done. If we do not separate business and state. If we do not separate business and state. And harness this energy. And harness this energy. To make that the central mission. To make that the central mission. Of this year's election. Of this year's election. We cannot begin to do the work we have to do. We cannot begin to do the work we have to do. Thank you for giving me some of your time and congratulations on your success. Thank you for I love what you're doing. I believe that this can be turned into an action item for next year. Right now what's being communicated is we're not going to take it anymore. This is very Pink Floyd, right? No mas, which is the first declaration and it's important. But the Right. But the difference between the no mas, which is the originator, we're going because this no. Right? The question is, so now you've got these energy balls in New York, in Boston, in Philadelphia, etc. And it's not just you guys. There are old people, black people, rich people, poor people. They're not, they, they, and they're not here, but they feel the same way, which is that this country has become a bought government, an auction-based government that is unfair. Even if it's unfair and you're winning, you're like, this is the most screwed up thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And you know for a fact that if even if you're winning in a rigged system, you will be losing soon. Do you think it might actually benefit us that we're being so generic, giving time for people who, who maybe disagree? You, uh, you, I think that the, the only thing we have to call for is this. Making a, a debate next year about the role, the relationship between business and state the same way that the people did between church and state a thousand years ago. The reason we can't even have the debate is because a wall of money surrounds our government that prevents us from having the debate. And what I'm saying to you is that we have a draft of a constitutional amendment that is up for debate by everybody for the end of the year. We're going to have Lawrence Lessig come on, Ron Paul's going to come on. We're going to change the language of that amendment in the context of a public debate that will be held between now and the end of the year. I don't know, but I have an, I have an opportunity to start it because of the nature of the platform that I have. But what I'm trying to start is a debate around the, the unholy alliance between business and state, and I'm trying to make a point, which is that we must harness this energy to affect positive change in 2012, get money out of politics. And you can vote for whoever you want, and you can give money to whoever you want, because that's the na you, you can't deny what already exists, but you can acknowledge what already exists while simultaneously articulating the problem. And we can push towards the conventions next summer and the elections next year, such that we can then force the presidential candidates to confront our request to separate business and state in a public forum that is unavoidable. And what we're looking at right now, what is it? It's October, September. So we're look at all the energy. Look at all the energy not outside of this place. If the energy is a single goal, separate business and state. A room for every possible, every mechanic and idea in the world. I'm not a man of mechanics and ideas. I defer to the crowd. But I know that our principles and our goals can be aligned on the simple assertion of separating money and politics. And so my argument to you guys is that we have an opportunity to convert the energy that you've already harnessed into a channel of a flow of energy into next year where we can push collectively for a constitutional amendment to get the money out. People will get all crazy with that. And then I'm like, well, you know. The same, tech, the same technology that gave us the credit default swap, the same technology that gave us deep water oil drilling, is just a manifestation of order of magnitude of what is possible. That same energy wave that gives you swaps, that gives you deep water oil drilling, can and will be harnessed to communicate a singular message to the government from the people to get the money out. 
because everybody knows that the here's all you need to know and then I'll shut up but here's all you need to know I put out a spreadsheet of every politician that's running for office I don't have to see their face I don't have to read anything that they say I don't have to hear what anybody thinks about them I don't have to watch a commercial I don't have to do anything I can lay out a spreadsheet and I can look on the spreadsheet to see who raised the most money and if I pick my horses based on who raised the most money I will be right 94 percent of the time makes Moneyball look like it doesn't work this is the best money ball in town and once you realize that 94 percent of the time the person who wins is the one who raises the most money you realize you are living in an auction based government you are not living in a democracy and the reason Wall Street gets the appropriate villainy that it does is because Wall Street is the best vehicle to purchase the government and at the end of the day though the issue is not Wall Street in the sense that you need to have some sort of capital you need some investment structure for any country to function but the, at the end of the day you cannot have any economic structure imagine if the whale blubber guys that made all the lights in New York could buy the government to prevent electricity that's what we're talking about the world's changed healthcare is different education is different energy is different we're all stuck in the 1950s from when Dwight Eisenhower came back after the war and made this country well it's gonna be 2020 when we're gonna blink our eyes we're gonna be stuck in 1950 we have an, a, a problem-solving mechanism from the 1700s when there's a thousand solutions to a problem and you're stuck with two bogus parties you got a, a crappy solution from the Democrats and a, and, a, and a solution from the Republicans that makes you afraid that you're gonna die and you're like well I got crap or death what am I gonna go with this year I guess I'll go with crap that's no way to live and your point is we're not gonna live that way because you guys know that the, the problem-solving me mechanisms that exist now exist and so do a lot of other people but the question for us tonight is not any of that the question is are we going to have the awareness as a group to observe the ball of energy that is here honor it and respect it and then figure out how we're going to convert that energy into an action for 2012 that will advance our agenda and we cannot advance our agenda whatever our agenda may be and everybody's agenda is probably different but whatever your agenda is, it does not stand a chance as long as you live in an auction-based government, which is why, can I see one of these? Yeah. we got to get the goddamn money out. And the, so people think I'm crazy, but the fact of the matter is, we amended the Constitution to outlaw beer. <laughs> we amended it again to make beer legal again. That's two amendments. And you're telling me we can't amend the Constitution to separate business and state amid pervasive evidence of an auction-based government that's being bought? I think not. The fact of the matter is just because the politicians are bought does not mean that because uniquely, for the first time in the history of the world, the pharaohs screwed over all the poor people in Egypt. The samurai screwed everybody over in Asia. They were screwing everybody over in London in the 1850s. The rich people and the government have been screwing everybody over for as long as they've been rich people, government, and people. So the only thing that's novel here is that we suddenly have the ability to share information. And the question is, will we be able to exploit our ability to share information such that we can affect positive change, or will we get so toxified by the information that we destroy ourselves? And the only way to avoid that, because I've been, uh, I've done a number on myself the past few years for, for my own frustration as a feeling of an inability to do anything. You don't even want to know. I'm finally at a point where I realize that if I don't harness the energy, I will destroy myself. I believe that that is true for everybody else. And so I'm offering this as a solution that I found myself and offering it to you as a, as something to, as a, as a concept for you to consider and debate as the, as the action item coming off of this energy. And the action item is a single principle. Separate business and state, we have a chance. And if we have a chance, we have something to do for the next year.